John Bolton is no longer a part of the Trump administration. And there's a debate going on in, in corporate media about whether he was fired or resigned, but that's a smokescreen, similar to when John Bolton pushed the smokescreen of weapons of mass destruction to go to war for oil. We can argue about this or that, but the war profiteers will be lining their pockets and coming out on top regardless of what the outcome is. Arguing about firing versus resignation misses a larger point of who John Bolton is and has been since the Bush presidency. John Bolton has been described as a cheerleader for war, and clearly his mustache is the pom-poms. Okay, give me a W, give me an A, give me an R. What does that spell? Freedom! Bolton's departure from the Trump administration has to do with the failure of starting two wars, one in Iran and another in Venezuela. If you're a Trump supporter, then you should be upset that Trump placed a known war criminal in charge of national security. That's like putting a known cannibal in charge of a soup kitchen for the homeless. Okay, there are going to be some incidents and people might disappear. John Bolton has wanted war with Iran since he pushed for the war with Iraq. He is the reason Trump pulled out of the Iran nuclear deal and approved a bunch of U.S. ships to get stationed off the coast of Iran. I mean, this is basically like shooting the peace agreement and then claiming the war is over, then winking at everyone walking out the room uh, as you have a very clear erection. Bolton was also part of pushing the coup in Venezuela. He called the country a troika of tyranny, similar to when he called North Korea part of an axis of evil. It's good to have a catchphrase for war so you can make sure to merchandise the destruction of a country. Troika of tyranny, get your t-shirts, hats, buttons, balloons, bra and panty sets, condoms, stuffed Maduro doll, Bolton, stash replicas, and more for three easy payments of forever wars. The administration basically said Guan Guaido, someone no Venezuelan has heard of, was the legal president of the country because America! And if you go up against these made-up facts, clearly you're a communistic, socialist, pinko cuck. Okay, America is about God and country. Uh, let me rephrase that. America is God, but also a country. Guan Guaido was pretty much made in a GW University right-wing think tank to specifically be a pawn in a coup. They also put economic sanctions on Maduro's people and prevented the country from acquiring profits from Citgo, a corporation that operates out of Venezuela. This is like the arranged marriages of dictating false presidents, right? But instead of your parents, it's the neighbor from five doors down making the decision. No, no, this person that you actually elected and have a connection with seems great, but this random human you've never met is really who you should marry to have lead your country. And if you don't agree, we will freeze your bank accounts and boot your car. Oh, and just for safe measure, set fire to a portion of your house and claim that you did it. You know what they say, happy wife, happy life, so get happy so we can move forward with our lives. So does it matter whether John Bolton got fired or resigned? No. What matters is the wars and coups he's attempted and succeeded in and what he does next. If we aren't publicly keeping an eye on him, he could slink into the shadows and try again another day. If anything, we should know where he is at all times. Who knows what who his next target could be? Who knows what his next catchphrase for war will be that he comes up with? What we can know is that his next steps will enrich the lives of some more war profiteers and criminals under the veil of national security.